see my legs. I want it to be visible for you guys. So let's start. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me better. We're going to start from lifting our heel up and down. Up and down. So let's alternate the legs. Very simple stretch. Now, when you're lifting it up, try to push it more forward as much as you can. So it's not just a little bit. Push it so you can stretch it really, really hard, okay? Down and lift and down. Push the heel forward and close. Push and close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're trying to make the separation between our legs as long as is possible. So instead of having this, we want to go stretch more. You can even rotate your hip a little bit so we have a long space between us and we're stretching those knees apart. And down. And stretch. And down. Stretch. And down. Stretch. And down. For one. Two. Alright, so our back is straight, not leaning back, 
Imagine you have a wall behind you. So you're straight behind the wall. Now engage your core, right? So your muscles are strong right here. Okay? Point it. Check it if it's working. Okay? It has to be strong. Right now, let's lift ourselves up. Slowly. One, two, three, four. And down. One, two, three, four. Now your legs might be shaking because we're doing it slow. It's always harder to do it slow. And one, two, three, four. Great. Let's go up. Hold for a second and slowly down. And one, two, three, hold. Focus and slowly down. It also helps to keep your eyes focused on one point when you are balancing, okay? So find a spot and look at one point when you hold and slowly down. Hands up, hold as high as you can and down. Hands up, hold and slowly down. Up. Hold, slowly down. Great. Now I'm going to face you and we're going to go up again. Now we'll go sideways chasse. Side together, side close and slowly down. And again, we're going to go the other way. Up, side together, side and close. So try to go as high as you can, keeping your legs straight. Side together, side and down. Up, side together, side. Close and slowly down. And up, side together, side together, slowly down. Up, side together, side together, down. Great. Let's add a little bit of PA to this exercise. We're going down. The plie, keeping your posture straight. Make sure that when you're not going down, you're not sitting back. So your back is completely straight. We're still standing behind the wall, in front of the wall, right? So we're sliding the wall. We still have our core engaged. And then we're gonna go up on the toes. Down and up and down slowly. And up. Now try not to make it too sharp and too heavy like you're falling, okay? Try to use your muscle control and lift yourself under control. So, butt cheeks in, bellies in, posture straight. We go down and slowly up. And down and slowly up. And down. And slowly up. Down. And slowly up. I'm already warm. I don't know how much you guys. But I'm warm. So let's connect this with the chasse. We're going down. Up on the tippy toes. Side together. Side and down. Up. Side together. Side. Down. Up. Side together, side, down, up. Feet together, side, and down, up. Feet together, go as high as you can on the tippy toes. Side together, side, and down. All right. Hope this exercise helps with your balance. And the more you're going to do it, the better you're going to become. So make sure that you control your body and you're not scraping too much with your top. Okay, we're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna go down. Now, for a little bit bigger challenge for your balance, we're going to lift the heels up, hold, up straight, and go down. So, we go down to plie, lift the heels up, engage your core very strongly, hold it, Stretch yourself up and down. Plie, heels up, stretch.
Stretch yourself up and down. And plie. Up. Stretch. And close. And one. Two. Three. And four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. And last roll. One. Two. Three. Four. Great job. All right. Let's start with our rotation in the hips, all right? So we already warmed up our calves and our ankles. Let's work on the rotation. Feet together. You can hold your arms on the hips or keep them behind the loose is good for you. We're gonna focus on the feet now. So toes straight. Now we're going to keep the heels together. Just open our toes to the first ballet position, okay? Close the toes and open. Close and open. So we are rotating our leg from our hips. Right? Keep the posture straight. Bellies in and toes out and in. Out and in. Out and in. And, and try to go as much sideways as you can. Right? So we rotate and close. We rotate. Close, we'll rotate and close. Great job. Let's keep the toes open. Not as your maximum, but where you can comfortably stand and not fall. Now, let's move our weight on the left leg. We're going to bend the right one and we're going to point it straight in front of us. So, both of our legs are straight. And now, we're going to turn our heel in. And back straight. In and back. In and out. In and out. So now you can see how much you can rotate your hip. Out and in. So keep the toes on the floor. Both legs are straight. And rotate the heel out and in. Let's move our leg to the side. So now we have our heel facing back. Let's turn the heel forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward, back, forward, back. Good job. Let's try to move it back. And heel out and in, out and in, out and in. I know it's harder to move back. Let's try with the other foot. So we're going to move the weight on the right foot, bend the left, and point it in front of us, both legs are straight, and rotate the heel, in and out, in and out, in and out. Great job, let's move the leg to the side, let's go up tall, don't try to be, try not to be loose here, right? So we're standing straight on the leg, we're engaged up, and the heel goes. Down and back. Rotate it and back. One and two, three and four. And backwards and out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Great. Let's go back with the right foot. Let's move our weight on the left. Right foot in front of us on the toe. Let's work on our Heel on the floor, toes looking up, and toes down, heel goes up. So we flex the foot and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Now, make sure that your heel is looking inside. Definitely not at outside. And would be good if it would not be down, but turned in. Okay, so leg is in front of us. And we go heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Let's move it to the side. Turn the heel down and heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Great job. Let's move it back. The hardest one. Now, if you don't have your heel turn sideways, it's going to be impossible to do the heel. So that's why. 
sure that your heel is going side. And point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. If you need some help with the balance, you can always have a chair next to you, okay? Because it's really challenging for the balance. Let's move on to our left leg. Point in front, rotate the heel in, and we go heel, toes, heel, and heel, toes, flex, point, flex, point, great. Let's move it to the side, turn the heel down, and heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, toes. alright, roll the back, and the heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, great. So, this rotation in the leg can also help you in dancing during the body. So that's what we're gonna do now. Keep your feet in the first position, right foot in front, turn the heel in, point of foot. Now imagine you have a pencil on your toes, and we're gonna draw half of the circle and bring the leg in. Yes, like you have a compass. So, first in front, second point, side, and then from the hip back behind you. Let's brush the toe bend in front, side, back, brush in front, side, back. Okay, let's try to do it smooth without stopping. And back and brush. Front and and front it and forward. Front it and forward. So now you have a lot of mobility in your head. Okay, let's try the other leg just when we're getting tired. So in front, turn the heel in, both legs are straight, we're not sitting down on the hip, we're stretching ourselves up, core is engaged, posture is straight, so it's helping with my balance, and I'm going to the side, heel is looking down, back, and slowly down, in front, side, back, then rush in front, and side, back, Rush in front. Let's do it smoothly without stopping. Side, back, brush, and side. Back, brush, in front. Side, back, brush, and side, back, brush. All right, great job. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me better. We're gonna keep standing in the open position, like a letter like this. And I'm going to point my right foot in front of me, turning my heel in, and I'm going to place my heel down on the floor and back on the toe. Down and up. So I'm not putting my whole weight on the foot, I'm just placing the heel down and coming back. Let's go a couple more. And down. And up. When you're placing your heel down, make sure that you're trying to rotate it inside so you're not stepping straight. Point, turn the heel in, place the heel down. And up, down, and up. Down, and up. All right, so imagine we're doing a step. We want to transfer our weight. Point to toe and then roll it back. So we lift the heel up, point to toe, and place the heel down. And it's up on the toe and down on the heel. Okay, let's go the other foot. Left foot in front, turn the heel in, and heel goes down and up. Down and up. So when I place my heel down, I'm kind of standing in the middle of both of my feet. So up and 
down, up and down, up and down. Great, let's move our little weight forward on the front leg, pushing from the back leg and pointing it back. And heel goes down and up on the top. Heel goes down and up. So this is how we push from our foot. Great job. Let's try one more time sideways as our last exercise because we're running out of time. So keep your feet open. Open the leg to the side. And we're gonna place the heel down, stay in the middle, and push your way back from the toe. And down. And up. Down. And up. Down. And up. Let's push all the way and transfer the weight. Now let the heel go down. And up. Down. And up. Down and up, down and up. Great job. I hope you warmed up right with me. I already feel warm. So next time we might continue on this because I still have a couple more exercises to show you. So keep practicing these and improve the mobility in your hips, ankles, and your knees. More flexibility, better dancing quality. So thank you.